welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Veggie Fam. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm Rose. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, of course, if you're interested. Uh, today we're going to be making three delicious popcorn recipes or popcorn flavors. So, let's get ready. So the first thing that we're going to do is pour in about, I'm going to do about two tablespoons of oil into the bottom of our pan. Of course, the rules for popcorn is you have to use like a tall, big pot, but who follows rules? Not I. Not here. No. I'm going to do about three to four popcorn kernels, and that's the trick to whenever you're making popcorn on the stove and I have this at about a medium high heat medium to more high and once you hear three of these kernels pop you're ready to toss in the rest and I'm actually going to be adding a fourth of a cup altogether. if you have a clear lid that would work much better the tall big pot that I usually use with the clear lid doesn't work on this in induction cooktop because the induction cooktop need like a special um, bottom pan and that other one's just aluminum so it doesn't work um, however, we're going to make this buddy here work. So I hear these guys popping, I hope. Yep, they actually all popped. And I'm just going to add the rest of these in there. And I'm going to shake them around so they get all get kind of like coated in oil. I didn't want to put too much oil. You could put more oil, but that's, that should be okay. I'm going to cover this up and allow these to uh, completely pop. Another thing that you're going to do while this is popping is you're going to like kind of just shimmy it around um, so that everything can pop uh, a little faster. Do you hear it? You guys hear it? Ooh, it's so exciting! Just the sound of popcorn popping sounds so fun. It smells good too. You're gonna follow the cues kind of like the same way you would if you're making microwave popcorn where you wait and if there's like two seconds go by and you don't hear any popping, the popping slowing down, then you know it's time to take it off the heat before everything else burns. It's completely normal for a few kernels to not have popped. That's okay. See, so it kind of slows down, but you shake it and you hear the, the popping pick up again. If you shake it and there's no popping going on, it doesn't start up again, then it's done. So next, I'm just taking my hand and placing uh, the popcorn. Probably don't do this because you'll burn yourself. Get one of these guys. Very helpful. A spaghetti, uh, a spaghetti thing. I don't know what it's called. What are these called, guys? What is this spaghetti claw called? So I switched bowls, a bigger bowl courtesy of my friend Emily that just got these uh, little bowls for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so the first one we're going to be making is a smoked cheesy flavor. And in here we have uh, nutritional yeast, paprika, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, which I'm actually going to mix in here together using my finger. Just mix it all up. The full recipe for all three of these flavors will be linked down below as usual. And I'm actually going to sprinkle on or drizzle on a little bit of uh, just vegetable oil. You can use melted butter, you can use olive oil, whatever floats your boat. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on the seasoning. And the oil is going to help everything stick. And then you're just going to toss this around. Or if you want to use something more logical, toss it around with a little spatula. A little spoon and here we have our first flavor down so this is this is pretty much one serving I know technically if you were to like read the bag of a popcorn it'll be like oh this serves three people who are we kidding no it doesn't you know you eat this all by yourself so anywho taste test <laughs> oh yeah yes Moving on to the next one. I'm not going to show you how to make the popcorn again. If you need to rewatch it, just go back, then skip forward. Um, yeah, let's move on. All right, guys, moving on to the second flavor. We're going to be doing some 
dill pickle style uh, flavor here. I have some dill weed, and it's just like the dried stuff. Uh, we have some, uh, I'm using Himalayan sea salt because I've just been like really into it lately. Um, but you can use regular salt, uh, sea salt, um, and I'm using some pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Mix it all together. All right. Use a spoon, whatever. Get fancy. Get fancy. Use a spoon. And then I'm going to drizzle our oil again. Again, like I said, you can use butter, whatever floats your boat at this point. In there, and I'm just gonna actually toss our popcorn so it can coat a little better with the oil before I add in our dill spice and our dill seasoning. And for this recipe, I actually use a tiny bit more salt than I would for any of the other ones just because you want that kind of like you know, pickles are usually like a little on the saltier side. So, sprinkle that stuff on, toss it a little, sprinkle again, and then toss it around. And here you have, this is the dill pickle uh, style popcorn. Of course, I'm going to taste it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good. Moving on to the next one. Let's go. All right, so our next flavor is a sesame pepper. We have uh, some black sesame seeds. You can use any color. I just like the black because it just stands out on the popcorn. I'm using some ground black pepper, some garlic, and some sea salt. And again, mixing it all up, drizzling on the oil. Mix around the popcorn so the oil could get in there. Try to keep the popcorn in the thing. <laughs> and next, I'm just gonna sprinkle on our seasoning. There you go. Mix it one more time. This is this is what I like about this because like it's just everything is really quick and simple. Your movie night is gonna be on a next level, another level once you get the hang of you know making your own flavors. This is that's it. It's as easy as sprinkling on a little bit of oil or a little bit of butter, and um, to make everything stick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That was so simple. It was so, so good. Oh, good stuff. You guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag VeggieFam. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made. I would love to know what you think about it. I will talk to you guys very soon. Also, I'm sure you're wondering which one I like the best. Uh, it's between the sesame pepper and the uh, smoked cheesy flavor. I don't know. They're all delicious, but between one of those. Um, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.